Hey guys, my name is Anthony Perfetto. Are you sick of using Half-Life Advanced Effects to record a video, but instead you get these, and then you have to deal with this? Wish you could do it all in one step? Well, I'm here to help. Let's get started. All right, folks, so we're gonna assume that you already have a movie making config, and you already have Half-Life Advanced Effects installed, okay? Those are more beginning steps. This is, this is definitely a more uh, intermediate uh, approach to movie making, so we're, we're just gonna skip ahead, okay? So we have Half-Life Advanced Effects, and we first need to get FFmpeg, right? Um, so if you go the route of manually installing Half-Life Advanced Effects, you're not gonna have FFmpeg already installed. What we wanna do is we wanna go to ffmpeg.org, uh, slash download, okay? And I'll include that in the uh, the description down below. And this is just gonna be for Windows people, all right? So we're gonna go to Windows right here, and then we're gonna go to Window Builds from Gaian.dev. Okay, so we're gonna click on FFmpeg. We're going to save it, okay? So you go into the folder. We're gonna navigate to bin, okay? And then just hit Control C, or you could right click and copy. Okay, now we're gonna navigate over to our Half-Life Advanced Effects folder, okay? I have it on my desktop right now just for ease of navigation, but um, obviously you're gonna have it, you know, wherever you have it installed right now. So we're going to double click on it, we're gonna navigate to FFmpeg, and then we're gonna Control-V, or what you can do is you can also right click and paste. And now there, you know, I already have FFmpeg installed, so we're gonna get this little thing here. But um, yeah, just uh, all you wanna do is just skip these files and it'll install all the extra files that it doesn't have, okay? Next, we wanna install a codec, a lossless codec that we wanna use. I, I personally use Huff. We, we like to use a lossless codec because it decreases the file size and it makes the project a little more manageable, okay? So what we do is we navigate over to videohelp.com where they have the uh, latest version. Huff 2.2 has is very glitchy. Uh, I would not recommend it. So what I would recommend is getting Huff 2.1.1. Now you have to be careful. Do you have 64-bit or do you have 32-bit? Make sure you check that. So we have 64-bit, okay? So we want to make sure that um, we install the 64-bit Huff because then Vegas 64 will then be able to decode all the files that we're going to be writing to it, okay? So, uh, yep, we click on that, we download it. What you wanna do is you want to navigate to your Windows folder, scroll all the way down to SysWow64. You wanna go back to your Huff folder copy these two files, go over to your SysWow64 folder, and then just paste those two files into your SysWow64 folder. After we paste into SysWow64, we have our two files, right? Well, now you wanna right click on huffyuv.inf, INF, okay? Go up to install and click install. And then what you wanna do is after you install it, you want to reset your computer, okay? Restart it. And to double check to make sure that it installed properly, you can easily go to settings, apps, and just scroll down to the H's and you'll see here that Huff YUV AVI lossless video codec is now installed. You can also go into your editing software, go to render, and you can check to see if Huff is now a codec that we can use, and it is. So let's go into our movie making config, which I assume you already have. So this is just a dummy one. I assume you have a lot more stuff in here. I'm gonna keep it empty for the sake of visibility and for it to be easy, easier to read for you. So I like to direct my recording specific, to a specific folder. Mine's in the C drive, which is my SSD. It just helps the writing process go quicker. So what we're gonna do is we're going to do that here, right? So Merv streams record name quotes C colon slash Merv, okay? So all of my recordings, every time I record, will go there, okay? Okay, now that we set the path for our videos and our, our recordings to go to, we now wanna create a profile 
for Half-Life Advance effects to use in order to apply to all of these recordings, okay? And I'll show you what I mean. So what we want to do is we want to type Merv Streams Settings Add, okay? And this is how we're going to add our profile, okay? This is how we're going to easily add all of these encoding settings to all of our recordings, okay? Now we're using FFmpeg. So we're going to type that and then you can type a name here. It could be anything, you know, let's just do MM for movie maker. Okay. And then this is where we put all of our settings in. So we're going to set our video codec, which is going to be huff YUV. Okay. And then space dash, and then we're going to set our a codec. And usually you can put something in here. I don't like to put anything, you know, you really don't want to compress or encode your audio. For starters, it's not that big of a file. And second, you want the purest audio possible. Okay. Now this part is going to dictate where the video file goes. Okay. And since we already did that, there's some easy code that we can put in to just conform with this record path. Okay. And that is squiggly bracket, capital letters, quote, close squiggly bracket, open squiggly bracket, capital letters, AFX, underscore, stream, underscore, path, close squiggly bracket. Now we're going to do slash video dot AVI. That's going to be the name, okay, of our of our recorded video. You can put anything here. You can put name dot AVI. You can put recording dot AVI. I keep it easy, just video dot AVI. Okay, close, open squiggly bracket, quote, capital letters, close squiggly bracket, and quotations. Okay, we created a profile for our FFmpeg encode, okay? Now we wanna apply that profile to a stream. So when we record the stream, it records an AVI, and we don't have to worry about TGS. So in order for this to work, we wanna make a base effects stream, okay? So that's what we're gonna do now. Merv streams add base effects name okay it could be anything it could be base it could be stream it could be anything we'll just call it base for now okay now what you also want to do is you want to edit the settings of that base effects stream okay with the profile that we already created earlier so that's going to be merv streams edit and it's the name of your base effects so it's going to be base settings and then it's going to be the name of the profile we created earlier, which if you look above is MM for Movie Maker. Okay? MM. Okay? And that's it. That's all you have to do. Once you create the profile for your FFmpeg encode and you edit the base of your base effects stream, you're ready to go. You should be able to make an AVI easily and, and never have to deal with TGAs ever again. So let's see it in action, actually. Let's let's check this out, okay? All right, so like I said, I'm going to assume you already know where to put your movie making config. I personally put it in the CFG folder, in the CSGO folder. I know some people have a movie making folder that they have that they like to keep their movie making config in, which is completely fine. We're going to skip that part because I'm going to assume you already know how to do that. So we're going to do exact movie making, okay? And it looks like Half-Life Events Effects spit out a message saying editing stream base so it looks like our base was created let's do merv streams print okay very good now let's do merv streams edit base settings and it looks like our current value is set to mm and now if you remember that's the name of our ffmpeg settings that's the name of our ffmpeg profile that we created so it looks like it worked, okay? So let's give it a try. We're gonna do host frame rate and we'll record at like, I don't know, 120 FPS a second, okay? So we set the host frame rate. So now we want to record. So Merv streams record start. Let's unpause it and it looks like it's working let's do merv streams record end okay it looks like it says it's finished recording so let's go check if we have a file now okay 
All right, so we're gonna navigate over to where we dictated that Half-Life Advanced Effects saves our recording, which if you remember is in the C drive in the MERV folder. So let's do that now. So C drive, MERV folder, and we have a take. Interesting, let's click on it, fingers crossed. Okay, we have an audio file, so that should be uncompressed. Okay, if you remember correctly, we didn't set an audio codec. Now let's go into base. And we have a video file. Awesome. Let's double click on it. Make sure we have video. Looks like we do. Now let's check the properties. Make sure it's 120 FPS like we dictated. 120 FPS. Awesome. Looks like it worked. And there you have it, guys. A tutorial to set up FFmpeg for Half-Life Advanced Effects so you don't have to use TGAs anymore. Hey, listen. If you liked this video, please like. Please subscribe, please comment for the holy algorithm, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.